So we have two budget grinders that range from espresso to filter from effectively the same camp. So which of the two is better and how they compare to spending a little bit more on the Varia VS3. Hi, I'm Peter from Copy Pass and let's get into it. Barraza have re-engineered the original Encore, which was a filter only grinder, to now be the Encore ESP. And as the name suggests, it now also does espresso. This means it now competes head to head with the Breville Smart Grinder, which has been out for quite a few years. But what's interesting is a few years ago, Breville bought Barraza. So effectively now they're now competing head to head in the same space. It also competes head to head with a fellow Opus, which was meant to be in this video, yet our sample unit got lost in transit. So we don't actually have it, so we haven't tested it. And for that reason, it can't be in this video. All of which are quite similar in price. And then there's a Varia VS3. However, this grinder does jump up in price somewhat. And whether it still belongs in the budget category or not, really depends on what you're comparing it to. However, all these grinders are conical burr grinders, quite similar in nature, yet different in application. Before we dive into the budget espresso to filter grinder comparison, if you're liking this content so far, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow this channel and deliver even more content. A little disclaimer, while the Varia and Breville are my grinders, the Brass has been sent to me so I can give them feedback, yet have full freedom to speak my mind. If you're looking for a full review rather than a comparison, we've done reviews on each of these grinders independently on the Brazza Encore ESP, the Breville Smart Grinder and the Varia VS3, which we'll leave links down below. The Brazza. On the budget side of things, the Brazza Encore ESP really performs. It's an Encore and it's typical Brazza, so it's noisy and you can hear it. But, it's super easy to dial in. It runs the same 40 notches of movements from one to 40, but where it changed from the original is it's running two different pitches. So from one to 20 on this side, you've got the espresso and the vertical movement is quite tight. So you can really dial in for espresso. Once you go from 21 to 40, then the movement grade becomes bigger and you can do all your filter side of coffee. Now that's, the revolution there is the two different pitches. So a small movement to incrementally bigger movements. And it allows you to go from filter to espresso and back quite easily. However, when you do go from espresso to filter and back, you can collect a little bit of fines. And on the filter side of things, fines aren't great. But for a budget grinder, the ability to do both is super cool. When it comes to dosing, it's dosing into a dosing cup. Now that's for the espresso side of things. And what Barras have done is done a cup that fits both 54 and 58 mil porter filters. And this really covers most of the market. Basically with the rubber on top, you're dealing with the 58 mil porter filters. But as you remove the rubber and bring it into the bottom here, it's now fitting into the 54 mil porter filters. If you however doing filter coffee, you just remove the little rubber mat here, bring in the coffee container and you're grinding into the coffee container so you can pour into your V60 mocha pot, whatever it might be. The Encore always did filter coffee well for its price. It's clean, sweet, nice. The only real drawback on this grinder is how noisy it is. The Breville. I really do see this as a simple, easy to use, no fuss grinder. Where Breville has varied from Barraza is in the way it dials in. Barata used those 40 notches where the first 20 were for espresso were quite fine and the next 20, the movement was a bit coarser for filter coffee. Because Breville is a linear movement from zero to 60, it needed that extra range to be able to do the filter side of things and espresso well. Where the Breville really varies from the Barata and the Varia is in its LCD screen and timer. This makes it easy to dial in, grind on demand based on time so a time for a single shot and a time for a double shot. And to adjust the fineness or coarseness of your coffee, say from espresso to filter, and really have a visual indication of where you're at. 
When it comes to portafilter supports, very similar to the Baratza, it handles both 54 and 58 mm portafilters. But in this case, it uses a cradle, and the cradle is easily removable and replaced. So in this case, it's a 58 mm cradle, but you could replace it with a 54 mm cradle. The coffee out of this grinder, both espresso and filter, is clean and sweet. But the real focus of this grinder is on the ease of use. Easy to dial in, easy to program, just a no fuss, simple to use grinder. The Varia. If your budget does allow for it, the Varia is a little bit better, but only marginally better. The build quality is a lot nicer and it is super, super quiet. Like, really quiet. That quiet. Obviously, it makes a little bit more noise with coffee, but that's a very quiet grinder, although it does sound a little bit tinny. For filter, it offers a higher clarity and body in the cup, and it is a very clean filter coffee. And for espresso, it really does well. Now, this is a single dose grinder, so you're dosing in the coffee that you're grinding out. So that involves a little bit more work. You normally have a scale and a dosing cup and you pre-weigh your coffee before you load it into the grinder. Compared to say the Baratza where you're pushing in that button to grind on the man, or the Breville where you're grinding based on time or on demand. So it is a slightly different workflow. In saying that, with the Baratza, you can buy a single dose hopper and move it to a single dose workflow where you also weigh in the coffee, dosing into say your 20 grams for espresso and your 20 grams out. Now, one big difference is the dosing cup. I really do like the dosing cup on the Baratza where it runs both 54 and 58 mil really neatly. And on the Breville, it doses it into the portafilter, either 54 or 58 mil portafilters. With the Varia though, they've used a random dosing cup. So it would have been nice to see them go along the lines of the Baratza in having a dosing cup that's more applicable. But that's only a minor thing. Another minor thing is behind here, the power block. It runs a transformer. So that power block, depending on your setup of your kitchen, could get in the way of such a beautiful design in the grinder. Realistically though, this grinder possibly sits just outside that real budget segment of the other three grinders, or well, the two in this video. So who are these grinders for? As entry level grinders, it really opens up the door to allow for more coffee lovers to get into grinding fresh coffee at home. And as the passion progresses, so too will the grinders in the journey. I'm always of the opinion that you buy the best grinder your budget allows for and compromise everywhere else, say on the coffee machine or filter coffee setup. Yet in saying that, these entry level grinders really do offer massive bang for buck. I see these grinders for those building a home coffee setup, whether it be espresso, filter coffee or both. And definitely for those moving up from pre-ground coffee. On that note, if you're using pre-ground coffee, get a grinder, you need a grinder. A grinder changes everything, even if it's a cheap hand grinder. So which of these grinders should you choose? All three offer awesome bang for buck. The Breville really is the simplest to use. It really is a no fuss grinder. And apart from the downside of it being a little bit noisy, it's just simple, it's convenient. The Baratza offers best bang for buck. Both espresso and filter are awesome. Like the Breville, it is noisy, but the workflow is convenient. Whether you're using it as the way it's intended or as a single dose, that dosing cup, being able to fit both porta filters, it really is on a budget, a really awesome bang for buck grinder. And then there's a Varia VS3. It's the most expensive, it does perform the best. In some ways, it's marginally better in the cup, but it is the best. The build is nicer, it's a lot quieter, but the workflow it takes a little bit more work because it is a single dose grinder. So you have to pre-weigh your coffee, load it in and grind it through. So it really depends on what you want out of coffee on either espresso, filter or both. Basically, the Breville's easy to use, no fuss. The Baratza, bang for buck, good workflow, just is what it is, but it's noisy. And the Varia has the best of the three in the cup, in the build quality and how quiet, but once again, it is more money and a little bit more for workflow. Just a reminder, we have done full reviews on each of these grinders where you see me grind and make coffee out of them and you see the proper workflow between them, how loud they are. So for those reviews, click on the links below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.